Imagine for a moment that you are in a building and a fire alarm is activated. Suddenly strobes are flashing and loud audible horns are sounding. Reaction to the alarm is critical to the safe evacuation of everyone. Whether it be a visitor with a hearing impairment, a colleague with photosensitive epilepsy, a friend you work with, or a loved one from your own family. To all of us at Wheelock, providing low-cost, state-of-the-art solutions for life safety notification is our number one goal. We believe you don't have to compromise safety for the sake of system cost. Today, there are a number of codes and requirements that specifically address the special needs of the hearing impaired and people with photosensitive epilepsy. Let's take a closer look at how they affect you and your business and how Wheelock can help you provide better fire alarm notification at a lower cost. With the 1990 passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, a federal law, there is now a requirement for higher intensity strobes for indirect as well as direct viewing. And the National Fire Alarm Code, NFPA 72-1993, requires that a temporal sound pattern, Code 3, be used to notify building occupants of the need to evacuate. To satisfy these requirements, we believe it is important to ensure that the temporal pattern from audible signals be easily distinguishable and that strobes flash in unison. For these reasons, synchronization takes on special significance. This is because synchronized audible signals provide a clear and uniform temporal pattern so that occupants better understand the need to evacuate the building. Synchronized strobes eliminate random flashing, which could be a problem for people with photosensitive epilepsy. These features are especially critical when multiple devices are activated in the same area. For example, if an alarm is activated in a school where there might be young children with photosensitive epilepsy, synchronized appliances help to avoid adverse reactions and potential confusion and help ensure proper evacuation. In the case of synchronized strobes, ADA recommends that the composite flash rate not exceed five flashes per second for multiple strobes installed in the field of view, such as in a supermarket. The ADA guidelines also indicate that the use of synchronized strobes is an acceptable solution when more than two strobes are installed in the same field of view, such as you might find in a gymnasium or a hallway. Some studies suggest that five or more strobe flashes per second may cause people with photosensitive epilepsy to have an epileptic seizure. Non-synchronized strobes flash randomly and may interact to produce this rate, while synchronized strobes flash in unison at a fixed rate, thus helping to avoid this concern. To meet the ADA requirement for effectively alerting the hearing impaired, strobe flash rates must be a minimum of one flash per second and a maximum of two flashes per second across the strobe's listed voltage range. While all of Wheelock's strobe appliances meet this requirement, there are some strobe products on the market that don't meet the minimum flash rate when operating below 24 volts DC. Typical notification appliance circuits operate between 20 and 24 volts due to circuit loading and length wire run. Wheelock synchronized strobe flash rate of one flash per second is very accurate and reliable over the entire listed voltage range. Our unique sync pulse technology helps to ensure that the flash rate will not drift over time. In contrast, the flash rate of other synchronized strobes are often based on timing circuits, which inevitably drift out of synchronization as they operate, raising the possibility of a composite flash rate exceeding five flashes per second in the field of view. Using more low-intensity synchronized strobes to cover an area can also provide better visual alerting since occupants have more opportunity to directly view a flashing strobe. Because of synchronization, they can view the strobes directly without concern about multiple flash rates in the field of view. For the installer, this means that the flexibility of locating the synchronized strobes is greatly enhanced. 
In addition to the issues we've already addressed, authorities having jurisdiction are continually increasing their requirement that a fire alarm system be capable of silencing the auto signal while maintaining the operation of the strobes. This capability provides better communication among firefighters during an emergency. Please retransmit, I'm not receiving the message. I can receive your message now. This is first officer on scene. The building is okay and clear. Using today's typical technology, silencing the audible or synchronizing notification appliances would require four wires, two for the strobes and two for the audible appliances. To provide lower cost solutions for either or both of these conditions, Wheelock developed a unique two-wire audible visual system that is compatible with virtually every standard fire alarm control panel. Wheelock Series AS audible strobes can provide synchronized temporal audible and synchronized flashing strobe to comply with ADA and NFPA 72, as well as the ability to silence the audible all on two wires. Better life safety can therefore be achieved at substantially lower costs in both new construction and retrofit applications. Wheelock's wide line of audible, visual, and combination products, including the Series AS, operate in the standard continuous mode. Series AS, AH, and SR strobes can be synchronized in order to meet the new ADA guidelines and NFPA requirements by using our SM and DSM sync modules. As you can see, this circuit diagram shows you just how easy it is to install these products. Over the past three years, representatives of industry codes and standard setting groups and people with disabilities have worked together to harmonize requirements to provide equivalent facilitation. As you know, equivalent facilitation is addressed in Section 2.2 of the ADA Accessibility Guidelines and permits alternative designs to achieve substantially equivalent or greater accessibility. For example, 0 .030 lumens per square foot illumination is the basis of harmonizing many of the strobe requirements as shown in the following chart. This chart, which is found in Wheelock's Practical Guide for Fire Alarm Notification, shows at a glance the harmonized requirements for strobe intensity, light distribution, flash rate, multiple strobes, mounting, wall mounting height, spacing in rooms, corridors, sleeping rooms, and audible intensity. With today's state-of-the-art technology, meeting these harmonized requirements has never been easier. Now you don't have to compromise superior life safety performance for the sake of lower system cost. Simple two-wire installation, better viewing, distinct audibility, and clear communication among firefighters are the straightforward solutions you've been looking for. We are all striving toward a common goal, the safe evacuation of everyone who might someday have to respond to life-saving notification. Today and in the future, Wheelock will continue to support your efforts by providing the products and services to meet your life safety needs. Consult your Wheelock representative for experienced assistance, technical materials, and product information.